Hey, what's up? I'm Drew Giles with Dubious.org, and we're here with the Rotating Point Source. Michael, Brandon, Eric, and Brian, we're just going to ask them a few questions. So, um, how did you guys meet and start playing together? Well, Drew, we met back in 2004. We were freshmen in college down at Georgia Southern University, okay. Statesboro, Georgia. We just kind of first day of classes met, started rocking out. The rest is history. Awesome. And uh, where did you guys come up with the name, the, the Rotating Point Source? It's Pretty a, interesting name. It's a very interesting name. The Rotating Point Source actually refers to the Doppler effect. And when a sound is produced, it makes a certain pitch relative to the listener's ears. But when that sound is moving, the pitch can change. And so when you take a, a sound source and you just rotate it around, it's a pretty bizarre and beautiful effect. Cool. Right on, yeah. That's, that's pretty cool, right on. the first time I heard it. <laughs> Brought a tear to your eye, yeah. did it. All right. So um, how long have you guys been playing together, and where do you guys usually play it? On and off for about eight years, I would say. <laughs> yeah, eight or nine years. Eight or nine years, yeah. And we mainly play at this house. This is like the, you know, the shrine. This cool. Is the uh, this is Eric's place, and mm -hmm. uh, it's been dubbed the Skull House. The Skull House. As you will see on this mural on our wall. Here. Awesome, cool. Looks somewhat like the vortex. Yes, right? exactly. People say all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard that. No? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so you guys usually play here then? Yes. Yeah? Well, we also play at bars around um, Atlanta too. In Athens, we play that as well. We're trying to expand our, our scope, I guess. And you said. Smithville Bar, Masquerade. Smithville Bar, all nice. Well, this was up, cool. Yeah. Nice. You guys have all this Mega Man stuff on your walls, and you guys, you guys have some Mega Man tattoos. We do. We can show those to you. Yeah, definitely. We should definitely show those to the camera. I myself am I'm a big Mega Man fan. These guys are too. So, what uh, influences has Mega Man uh, had in your, in your, in your music? Because I know Mega Man's got some really badass music. Oh, yeah. And you know, in Japan, as some of you may know, Mega Man is Rock Man. Started yeah. from rock music. So when we first started hanging out, when we weren't jamming, we were fucking playing Mega Man. Awesome. We, we invented a game called Drink Man. I don't have to explain the rules of Drink Man. No. <laughs> what other inspirations do you guys have? We've got a few inspirations. You know, uh, we like all kinds of music. We like the rock. We like the rap. Yeah. We like the rap to the rock. Yeah. Little John, the East Side Boys. Cool. Um, White Stripes, <clears throat> Beck, Offspring, Nirvana. Right on, yeah. All cool, over. cool. Everywhere, yeah. All over. Mm -hmm. a little, uh, little funk, a little dance in there sometimes. Cool. Well, I'd say we're kind of like a mixture of Weird Al Yankovic and Nirvana. And Chumbawamba. Cool. Yeah, a little bit of Chumbawamba. We like to... Uh, Some Katy Perry. Uh, oh, wow. And, and wow. a little Pitbull, too. Just a little bit of Pitbull. We also like to get sleazy, like I, Kesha. And Who a knows? dash of Gaga. And we'll, like a, a sliver dash. of that. A sliver we of like Gaga. to wear silly costumes. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of uh, different... You got that? So we got our bass. We got our drums. We got our lead front man. And we got our guitar player, right? Yeah. Um, so you play the trombone, and uh, what else were you, you were playing the trombone synthesizer? Doing some cool electronic sounds on this. We play, I got a theremin. We play on some songs. We kind of experimental rock. Right on. Cool. Punk rock. Yeah. Synth rock. Yeah. Rap rock. Yeah. Cool. Any awesome. any label that sounds cool. Yeah, I mean. That. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Right here, right now. Take it away, Mike. After nine years of kind of playing on and off and two years of real rocking, we finally have an album, which is going to release on March the 30th, 2013. Cool. You mind if I take a look? Take a look. Yeah, awesome. We'll take a listen. Blown away. Blown away. Will they, will they explode? Yeah, your ears are just going to explode with all the awesomeness. I mean, awesome. We're going to rock your cocks off. The rotating <laughs> point source. Your cock is literally just going to fall right off. I mean. They literally fall off. Can we reattach them? When the cock has um, been rocked, right. there's only two ways to get the cock back on. How is that? I don't uh -huh. think it's appropriate for this interview. <laughs> um, I think we got to know, uh, I got to know as an interviewer, and the audience has to know, if our cocks are rocked, how are we going to, uh, what, what's, what's it going to feel like after that? No, what, what are we, we going to feel like? Just turn off the cameras, and I'll, sh I'll, give you, I'll show you. Cut. We'll be right back. Okay. It's going to be pretty fucking awkward. Right. <laughs> we got to know where else we can find your music, like right now. You guys are impatient as fuck. I know. <laughs> yep. We can check us out at rotatingpointsource.com. Also, um, facebook.com slash rotatingpointsource. 
You guys have a fan page then? We got a fan page. Awesome. So we just got to click and like oh, and do it. Yeah, like us, please. Yeah, awesome. We also, yeah. We also have a Twitter page, which I mean, we use every once in a while. I mean, I, kinda, <laughs> I post from time to time, tweet stuff. Cool. Brian's the little, little Twitter over here. Yeah, I'm the twat. He's the twat of the group. All right, well, thanks for the interview, guys. We really appreciate it. Drew, we appreciate thanks, dubious.org yeah. coming out. Right on. Um, yeah. Be sure to check us out at dubious.org. Be sure to check out the Rotating Point Source on their Facebook page and be ready for their album to drop on March 30th. We also spoke earlier, you said the Rotating Point Source is a, is a band from the future. Is that what one of you, you guys mentioned? So you're a... Uh, um, yeah, we're like uh, Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots, we're right. Dippin' Dots, dots, dots rock. rock. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, okay. All right, so... Um, okay, so... So screams. Not bad, man.